Okay, I know I always get excited for the Fusion 360 updates, but this one is one of my favorites so far. All right, there is a lot to cover, so I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite enhancements in this update, Ruled Surface. This is an extremely versatile tool for numerous modeling situation. I use Ruled Surface for surface modeling from scratch, creating cutting tools, defining drafted angles on complex surfaces, and so much more. With this tool, simply select an edge or chain of edges and use the length or angle manipulator or input to define your surface. For those more advanced users, you will be delighted to know you can define the surface based on the normal direction, tangent to the surface, or based on a defined direction to get your desired outcome. If you're making plastic parts, ruled surface will be one of your best friends. But this next enhancement might be even more exciting. When making plastic parts, you'll want to start many designs by defining a parting line where the top and bottom of your plastic parts meet, and use that as the center to draft from. Now, within the new draft tool, there is a parting line draft mode. This lets you define your parting line with a sketch, surface, or plane. In this case, we can use the spline as our draft tool and draft 5 degrees from that line to start defining the overall shape of our injection molded plastic part. This is even parametric, so as design changes are made throughout the product development process, obviously the parting line draft will update. Alright, I know you've heard me talk about edit in place a lot in the last couple of updates. This was a technology preview so we could get it into your hands early to test, rather than hide our secret sauce. But now this tech is ready for prime time and is now graduated out of preview. Not only did we fix many of the bugs reported for many of you who tested it early, but we added the ability to use edit in place in direct modeling mode. I now use edit in place in my everyday workflow all the time. Make sure to click the link in the description for an entire video playlist on how to effectively work in teams using edit in place by the master Rob Cohe. All right, I know I've said this before, but the drawings team has been consistently delivering enhancements in every update, and trust me, there's more to come. This month, they've made the drawings environment behave a little bit more like Fusion 360. Previously, you had to click a lot of handles to move things, but now you can simply click anywhere in the drawing view and drag to move the view. This has been updated for views, notes, and sketches. Now, onto my favorite update in drawings. Previously, you had to know the units of a drawing when creating the drawing. But what happened if you wanted to change inches to millimeters? Well, now you could switch the units between millimeters and inches at any time during the drafting process. Yes, finally we did it. In addition, we can now change the label for section and detail views. Yes, we understand the devil is in the detail views. In the last update, we added basic sketch tools to drawings, and in this update, we took it one step further by allowing you to change the line width of lines and arcs and arrows while sketching and drawing. Finally, when creating drawings for assembly, sometimes I just want to take what is visible on the screen and use it for a drawing. Previously, you had to uncheck a lot of boxes and wait for loading, but now you could simply just choose to create a drawing out of only what's visible in the design environment. All right, for those longtime Fusion 360 users, you may have noticed we have removed your name from the top bar and replaced it with either your avatar or initials in the top right. Make sure to update your avatar in your account to have it appear. This next update is taking Fusion 360 even further globally. Now Fusion 360 has been translated in both French and Italian. Since I could barely even speak English, let alone a different language, let me have two of my good friends welcome in their native tongues. È ora di progettare. Fusion 360 è finalmente disponibile in italiano. C'est le moment de concevoir. Fusion 360 est enfin disponible en français. Thanks, Ale and Paolo. I'm excited to grow our footprint even further globally. Okay, let's switch over to some of the enhancements coming to generative design. First, we are dropping a new way to purchase with something we are calling the generative design extension. Based on your feedback, you now have the option to pay as you go when using generative design or subscribe on a monthly or annual basis that will give you unlimited access to generative solves and outcome downloads. Now, whether you are using generative design for a project or if you plan on adopting it into your everyday workflow, Fusion 360 gives you the flexibility to use thought leading technology to meet your needs. If you are looking to get up and running with Fusion 360's generative design, make sure to check out our new self-paced learning courses to walk you through the essentials to master this new technology. 
Recently, we have added the ability to find materials for a study based on manufacturing method. Now in this update, we have marked all the materials that will give you costing information powered by a priori's costing engine for your generative outcomes. Even more, when examining the outcomes, Fusion 360 estimates the piece part cost as well as the fully burdened cost, which includes the setup costs amortized over the volume specified in the setup. Well, that's it for me for the June 2020 update. Make sure to check out both the manufacturing and electronics updates for Fusion 360.